If you're looking for some stability with the gains you've made in the crypto game, I want to talk to you. This is your show. This is the show where I work for you directly, taking your needs. I'm going through the MLS and I'm trying to find the best possible deal for you guys. Put down 25%. That's the perfect way to buy this. That's why real estate investing is the greatest industry in the world. Welcome to the MLS Search and Analysis Show here on Holton Wise TV. I'm James Wise, and I want to talk to people investing in crypto today, right? Maybe you made some gains, right? Maybe you made some gains, but I think what you probably notice is it's very uh, volatile investment uh, business, right? It's very volatile, very unpredictable. The guy who realized that is my man Gene. Now, Gene came to me a little while ago, and we've been working together for quite some time because Gene is a baller in the crypto game and he's got a day job and he's also doing some day trading in crypto and he's worked himself up to an eighty thousand dollar profit great freaking job gene and what gene understands is this you know these good times they might not roll on forever man it's up it's down it's up it's down it's up it's down it's up it's down right very unpredictable gene is looking to move some of that money into a more predictable investment vehicle that's why he came to me he wants to do real estate right and i help real estate investors from all over the world Invest in low-cost real estate. See, Gene lives in New Jersey. Can't get real estate in New Jersey for the pricing that we can get real estate out here. And then my team will handle all the on-the-ground work because Gene doesn't need to drive or fly from Jersey to where these cheap properties are and unfuck a toilet. Now, I got people. I got professional toilet unfuckers on staff, guys. All right? Real estate is great because it's a real raw thing. You can physically touch it. But... To get the pricing you want, it might not always be within driving distance for you to go touch it. And you sure as hell don't want to touch a toilet that's been fucked and needs a good unfucking, right? Again, that's where my team came in. So, uh, Gene, let's take a quick break, and then I'm going to jump into the numbers on a super low-risk single family in a nice little sleepy town that I think you're going to love. Hey lenders, are you looking to be part of our referral program? If so, send us an email at sales at holtonwise.com. <laughs> Welcome back. Let's dive right into the numbers on this property, okay? This bad boy just hit the market this week, right? Six days on the market. 1823 Lake Ave, Elyria, 44035. They have it listed at 76900 And that is a freaking deal in a half it is so hard to find decent single family inventory for less than a hundred thousand dollars right now in a nice stable neighborhood and this is a very nice stable neighborhood i enjoy this neighborhood quite a bit i consider it to be very low risk right it's it's like you know splitting hairs between a c and a b neighborhood right it's, you know some days i might feel like it's a b neighborhood some days i might feel like it's a c neighborhood right it's it's right up in there man it's definitely much less risk than a lot of the stuff we have in our portfolio right like folks watching Holt Wise tv they see like a lot of duplexes in cleveland proper right definitely above that right Love this neighborhood quite a bit. Still incredibly affordable, though, right? So this is one of those neighborhoods that I think it's great for, for most any investors that are just getting started because it works awesome with Section 8, but it also works really good with the cash-paying tenants, right? If you get into a higher-risk neighborhood, you kind of have to go Section 8, right? Because it's just too risky and too unpredictable of an investment to do so otherwise right and if you get into a really nice neighborhood you don't want to go section eight right because you want super high quality tenants right but when you're in those really really nice neighborhoods oftentimes you'll find the price to rent ratios don't make any sense uh, for investment purposes, right? Because those neighborhoods are generally driven by the owner occupants who probably make up, I don't know, 90, 95% of that particular area, right? So this one's right in the middle, right? The Swiss Army knife of uh, investing, so to speak, right? And it is a nice deal. We already have a tenant in there, okay? Long-term tenant. That's why the listing agent only gave us two photos, which is actually the same photo? Nope. The second photo, you can see a little bit more of the tree, right? Yeah, see that? You don't see that part of the tree in the first photo. That's why it was very important for them to get the two photos in here, right? You don't want to miss the other half of that tree. But that's okay. Don't freak out because we don't have photos. It's very 
normal when it comes to selling rental properties, right? Tenants don't like random people bothering them in their homes. Couple that with the fact that we got COVID going on, dude. Ain't nobody want nobody in their house. It's okay, though. It's not a big deal, right? A lot of people are like, oh, what does the inside of the house look like? Bro, unless the inside of the house is fucking paved with gold, it doesn't really matter, okay? What we have here is a long-term tenant. This long-term tenant is on an oral month-to-month -month lease paying $800 a month. They've been in there for years. It's irrelevant what it looks like. Why? Because I guarantee goddamn you, eventually when this person moves out, we're going to do a full turn. We're going to redo the whole thing. We're going to do paint, floors, walls, update the fixtures in the kitchens and the baths, right? You don't get somebody living in a rental for 5, 10 years, and then they move out, and then you just walk in there with your broom, and then it's all good for the next tenant, right? No, no, no. It's not how it goes. But long-term tenants are an asset. You want to keep them in the property as long as you can, right? 800 a month, not even market rent, right? The market rent on this, it's actually $1,000 a month because it's a nice 3-1. And that could be cash, could be Section 8, whatever you want, right? Now, that's $12,000 a year coming in. You run your normal fixed and variable expense estimates, right? And that's going to include your repairs, maintenance, vacancy, non-payment, and CapEx, right? CapEx, that's your big ticket items. Roofs, furnace, hot water tanks, right? Roofs, roof like this, it's probably $5,000 roof. They last every 30 years. Hot water tank. Uh, they last every they last about 15 years. Cost a G. Um, furnaces they cost about three Gs. Last about 30 years, right? Now, repairs and maintenance on an occupied unit, right? You're not really doing a lot of repairs while the tenants live in there, right? But you're saving that money in anticipation for that big old turnover, right? And that vacancy and not payment. Of course, there is no vacancy and non payment cost, which is not really a cost. It's just really like a loss of income, right? I got to put it on the line item though, so you guys don't think. The property is going to make you more money than it really will, right? So I've got 1800 of actual money really going to you, but I'm making sure you don't think it is your return because eventually you're going to have to spend all that money, right? So your true return should be, in my opinion, on average $6,027.64 a year. As far as price goes, seventy six nine. dollars we got to come in very close to that. Again, very, very hard to find something under 100 k in a neighborhood like this. We're going to go in strong. Try to get it at 75 We pick it up at 75 You put down 18750 Bank kicks in 56 and a quarter. If we got the tenant all the way up to market rent by slowly increasing the rents without during a turnover, you'd be looking at a cash-on-cash cash return of approximately 17%. These are numbers that are next to impossible to hit in most markets in the United States of America. Let me know what you want to do. Thanks for watching. Subscribe to Holton Wise TV for more financial information, education, and entertainment.